All right, people, we got another another item. Uh, a Tumi Tech luggage bag. Super nice bag. I actually got two of these for 30. So it was a garage sale. I saw the pictures. I saw, I was like, man, this looks really nice. So I looked it up, saw that these things sell for over a hundred dollars. I got two of them. I got a blue one and I got this red and gray one. It's super nice. Um, you know, you can see that there, but I've already sold the blue one on Poshmark for 150 bucks. Now, Poshmark took a $30 fee, which kind of sucks, but I mean, $120, I paid $15. I did have to pay a little bit extra for shipping, but I mean, it was like a $100 profit, um, you know, maybe 10 minutes to go pick this thing up. Um, but you can see we've got like the luggage handle here. Um, you know, the bag is, it's in really good shape, you know, kind of checked it out. So, you know, I asked in this case, I just said, hey, you know, what are you looking to get for the for the two, two Tumi bags? That's what I was interested in. Um, at the, so the garage sale ended, I just followed up after on Facebook Marketplace, and she said, hey, you know, just looking to get rid of these things. They're taking up space. You know, would you take 40? Um, you know, we're looking for 20 each, and I said, well, you know what? If I come pick it up right now, would you give me, you know, give them both to me for 30? Um, she said, yeah, sure. So sold the one already, $100 profit. I've got this one listed for a little bit more because it's in slightly better condition. I, I like the coloring. Got it on Mercari, I've got it on Poshmark, I've got it on eBay. Not doing any auctions, it hasn't sold yet, but again, higher ticket items, I think you have to have patience. And that's important when you're doing the reselling is patience is key. I wanna see, you know, this is, I can put this in my closet. Shoot, I can use it for myself. I mean, it, it is a really nice bag. So, um, you know, again, subscribe. I'll, you know, post a video once once this one sells. But, you know, when you look at luggage, it, it is tough to ship. So I bought bubble wrap from Amazon and the box that it came in was perfect. And once, you know, my plan is like, I hope this one actually lasts until I run out of bubble wrap and then I order it again. Then I got a box kind of built in. The only thing I'll mention about Poshmark, they only ship up to 10 pounds. And they actually suggest you don't list items that are over 10 pounds, but you know what? Like rules are meant to be broken sometimes. So I did it. I shipped it on my own. I was still able to, you know, make that hundred dollar profit. I think shipping was like 15 if I did ground and the person was close enough. It actually weighed in at eight pounds, which I was surprised. So I think next time, at least on Poshmark, I think I can just get up to their 10 pound label. But, uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll keep you posted once the sales will do a video, but 15 bucks a bag. One of them already sold for 150. We'll see what this one I you know I listed again. This one's up for a little bit more, but I'm I'm expecting another hundred dollar profit. So looking at like, you know, two hundred dollars on on a thirty dollar spend and maybe fifteen minutes to go pick them up and half an hour to just take some good pictures with good lighting, really get all the all the details there in the bag, open the pockets and stuff like that. So again, stay tuned, subscribe, see what else I'm selling and flipping, and and see if we can make some money.